week of March Madness has come and gone, and it was not pretty for our local teams. Marquette fell in the first round in North Carolina, and last night, Wisconsin season came to an end at Pfizer Forum. But while the madness may be over for Wisconsin colleges, Wisconsinites are still dancing, or at least still doing the gritty. Racing native Tyrese Hunter and the Iowa State Cyclones are headed to the Sweet 16, along with head coach TJ Otzelberger, who hails from the Cream City. Coach in his second season, Hunter, just a freshman, have helped the Cyclones become the first team in history to go from a two-win season to a Sweet 16 appearance. Coach O happy with how his team and local talent shined at Pfizer Forum. Even though his shooting numbers weren't what we would love for them to be tonight, he impacted winning in so many ways. And then he comes into every timeout and every huddle with such a command and such poise. He's a leader, he's a winner, and he impacted winning in a lot of ways. Iowa State will meet Miami in the next round. As for the Badgers, questions are already being asked about what their roster will look like next year. With Brad Davison and Chris Vogt done as fifth-year seniors, they're the obvious exits. But the future is unknown for Johnny Davis, who has a very bright future at the next level. It's not the actual game itself. It's the finality of a season and the finality of a, of a journey that's been long, a long time in the making. Um, so it's those things, it's the relationships, it's the, not that the relationships will end, but they're going to take a different, you know, as guys graduate and move on and those type of things. That's, that's the thing that as a coach, you always miss the most. The NCAA floor may be moving on, but the action on the hardwood is far from over at Pfizer Forum. The Milwaukee Bucks return to host Chicago tomorrow night. Can't believe it. Only 11 more games until the NBA playoffs and the Bucks try to defend their world championship title. That's it for sports. More news after the break.